It is a powerful and emotional story of strength and survival. A New Orleans woman from Ukraine has taken in her father, nephew and niece. And her family members escaped the war zone and they are living here in the Crescent City safely. WDSU reporter Aubrey Killian has their story you will see only on six. It is a symbol of hope. Natalia Hines keeps this candle lit in her home. Her father, Orest, her 17-year-old nephew, also named Orest, and her 11-year-old niece, Anya, were living in Ukraine and watched it turn into a war zone. Natalia is helping translate. It's evil. It's, it's awful because peaceful people are suffering. You wake up in the morning, you're happy that you're alive. You're happy that you have your life. You wake up, you may not see your neighbor's house. Your neighbor may be laying in the street dead. 17-year-old Orest describes the journey to New Orleans. Our parents decided to get us out from the country. Uh, first of all, we get to the border of Ukraine, uh, walked about 10 kilometers, it's about five miles, and cross the border to Bulgaria. Uh, was our relatives, and then we, when we understood that uh, war is not finished soon, our aunt took us to the U.S. He and Anya are incredibly grateful to be here in New Orleans, but they want to see their parents, who are still in Ukraine. <laughs> So it, the war is terrible. It's very difficult to be apart from her family. She doesn't know when she's going to see her family again. It's so much uncertainty and just awful. This family says Ukrainians need prayers, and they want to make sure they're not forgotten. Innocent people continue to die. Um, as far as the support, there are donation organizations. The president of Ukraine has started United 24 uh, for donations. If, if you know somebody, if there's humanitarian aid, clothes, um, certainly there are places they're taking those, medical supplies, w there's a dire need for medical supplies. As New Orleans is now her safe place, Anya found the strength and courage to give this powerful message to her parents, still in Ukraine. <laughs> this is under you. I will not play something for the I love you very much. I wanna. She's hoping that this interview, that her mom and her dad can see the interview, and she just wants to tell them that she loves them so much. Reporting.